Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take few days back we created video for in-depth review of Oxonus 13 beta 2 f21 for oneplus Nord 2 you can watch that video from the card that is the second round of new open beta 2 testing and new application for beta tester is open for first 5000 users but i have rooted method by using that you can install manually Oxonus 13 beta version on your Nord 2 without applying for beta testing program First part of that step is routing your Oxonus 12 or 13 build. Another part how to upgrade to Oxonus 13 beta manually will be shown in second video. So stay tuned for that video. We all know that Oxonus 12 builds and the new Oxonus 13 beta didn't have fast boot mode. So today I will show you the process how you can root any Oxonus 12 or 13 version. For example, I rooted my Oxonus 13 beta F21. You can root your own firmware version as per your requirement. All the files are given under the video description. For some reasons, if you want to remove the root, then I also shown how to unroot at the end of the video. So watch till the end. Please watch the video carefully. Single wrong step can make your device break. You need one PC with all the latest fastboot and ADB drivers installed. Your device bootloader must be unlocked on any Oxonus 12 or 13 version. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. You can check on the screen I am upgraded and using the Oxonus 13 beta F21 on my OnePlus Nord 2. Remember your device bootloader must be unlocked to unlock the bootloader of Oxonus 12 or 13. You must be already on the unlocked bootloader of Oxonus 11 and then upgrade step by step to the latest build that you want. This will give you the unlocked boot on the Oxonus 12 or 13. Fastboot unlocking cannot be followed on the Oxonus 12 or 13 as it didn't have the fastboot mode. Keep USB debugging enabled in the developer setting. Download and install the latest Magix version. Here I am using 25.2. Now download the boot image file as per your firmware version from the links given at the video description. Means if you want to root the Oxonus 12 C13 then use C13 file and so on. Now open the Magix application, tap install. Now don't take patch VV meta in the boot image. Now tap on the next. This is very important step. Now tap on the option select and patch file. It will redirect us to the file manager. Now select your boot image downloaded file. Now tap on let's go tab. This will patch the original boot image and you will find the new patched boot image under the download folder. Now connect phone to the PC, transfer that patched boot image in a platform tools folder or on the desktop of your convenient place. Now open the PowerShell window inside the folder where you placed the magic patch boot image by pressing the shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Select open command prompt here from the drop down menu. Now in the same way type adb devices. Accept any prompt if you get it on the phone screen. You will see the device id as on the screen means device detected successfully. Now type adb reboot fastboot. This will boot your device into this fastboot d mode screen. Keep phone connected to the pc. Now in the same day type fastboot devices to check the device properly connected or not. If you guess the device ID then you are good to go. Now type fastboot flash boot and drag the magic patch boot image in the same day and hit enter. Once flashing gets successful now take phone in your hand. Tap on reboot button in the fastboot D mode screen. Phone will boot to Oxygen OS. Now open the magic application you already installed. Now it will show you the Magix version installed as 25.2. If you download and install the root checker application from the Play Store, open it, tap on the verify root access, accept the Magix prompt. It will now show you the device rooted. That's it. We rooted the Oxonus 12 or Oxonus 13. Now if you want to unroot, then transfer the same non-patched boot image of your required Oxonus version that we patched in first part of the video. Now open the CMD in the same folder where you placed the file. Now type ADB devices, then type ADB reboot fastboot. Phone will boot to the same fastboot D mode screen. Now type fastboot devices, then type fastboot flash boot and drag the normal non-patched boot image in a CMD. 
Now hit enter once flashing its turn, reboot the phone. Now if you check the Magix application, it will not show you any Magix version installed. And if you check the root checker application, it will also show you the root unsuccessful. That's it, we unrooted the phone. So today we've seen the routing and unrooting of the Oxonus 12 and 13. If you want to manually install the Oxonus 13 beta package on your device, then keep your device updated and rooted on the Oxonus 12 C13 build and wait for my second part of the video. So that's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>